Florida versus LSU is this weekend, and there are storylines around this game. We are going to start off with that one. Uh, not going to spend long on it, but obviously it is something that uh, that needs to be discussed heading into the ball game. Did LSU make the correct hire? That's the biggest question when it comes to a game like this. Billy Napier was sitting in their backyard. He was coaching at Louisiana, or ULL, Louisiana Lafayette, whatever you want to call it. I think they are known now as Louisiana. And he was right there to be had. But Scott Woodward, the AD at LSU, has always been known as, I believe some have called him a big game hunter. He wants a name that is nationally known that's going to bring a ton of hype along with it. Somebody that uh, has proven it on a big scale in the past. And that's exactly what Brian Kelly has done when he was at Notre Dame, when he was at Cincinnati, etc. He has won everywhere that he has been. It appeared to be a no-brainer, cannot-miss kind of hire. But the kind of money that you had to spend on Brian Kelly to not know exactly what it is that you're getting, that's where it becomes a question, right? And to me, there's no doubt. I do believe that Brian Kelly will be successful in Baton Rouge. He's going to have the most talented players he has ever had, but it is an incredibly different culture than he has ever been in. There is a difference between going from Central Michigan to Cincinnati to Notre Dame all the way down to LSU. It's just different. So there are ways that it could possibly not work. And we have seen. It's been proven thus far this season. Those monster mega contracts that you give these kinds of coaches doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to get that same return on investment. We've seen it with Jimbo Fisher. The massive contracts that he has gotten at Texas A&M fully guaranteed over 10 years. I mean, he, he they don't owe him a buyout after 2031. Before that, it is an incredible amount of money every single year. If they wanted to fire Jimbo after this season, I mean, we're talking about $95 million, $89 million, something like that, whatever it is. It's just a ridiculous sum of money. Uh, but Billy Napier was right in the backyard. Oh, uh, by the way, another example, Mel Tucker. That's another one that just got a huge contract that is guaranteed. Uh, Brian Kelly is the other one. Huge contract, guaranteed. I don't know that you can really worry too much about Nick Saban's contract or even Dabo Sweeney's contract. You know what those guys are. They're already established in their roles. You're not giving major contracts to people that have not been at that job. And that's the situation here, right? You look at what Billy Napier is doing on the recruiting trail at Florida. You're looking at what he's doing as far as building up. I mean, these are two four and two football teams. Billy Napier is a good football coach with a lot of accolades, and he's young, and he's still learning, and he's figuring it out. But you've got a guy that you could have there for years and years and years, right? So that is the storyline going into this game. How much vitriol does Billy Napier have for LSU for not looking at him for the job? Right there, there may have been some discussions, but he was never seriously considered. And yet, Florida just came right in and said, "Yep, this is the guy." Once they fired Dan Mullen, they said, "This is who we want." Like we're going to go in and get. And it was a very seamless process, very smooth. Didn't have to worry too much about it. And they got their guy, and it looks good on the recruiting trail. Everything looks all right thus far at LSU. It's okay, uh, but you're still obviously both of these teams, you're rebuilding rosters, you're rebuilding culture, etc. There are going to be growing pains, but this is the first of many annual matchups that you will have to watch out and see uh, what does it look like, what do the trends look like going forward with Billy Napier and Brian Kelly. So I cannot wait to see what's going to happen on Saturday night for sure. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.